Jacob was a, a man's coach. Uh, he wasn't scientific. He was much the same as uh, the Collingwood uh, Jock McHale. Uh, he would demand uh, you give of your best in endeavour uh, skills. He put certain restriction, restrictions on you. And uh, uh, it was the fact that he was able to understand uh, each player. Beams, number 24, would be a star for the Red Legs that day. One of the most talented sportsmen of his time, he would play over 200 games for Melbourne and as a batsman, captain Victoria in the Sheffield Shield. I rated Percy Beams as number one rover in Australia. He was the most skillful, courageous, beautiful mark and kick, but just a little ruthless. Beams on the run as Melbourne thrashed Collingwood by 53 points. The final scoreline of 21, 22, 148 was a grand final record. 39, we won that easy and uh, we played Collingwood. Collingwood was a very ordinary side and we won that easy in uh, 39. Uh, 40 was uh, a worry to us because that was when we played Richmond. We were very worried. Uh, whether Dyer would uh, go berserk again. And uh, we had a meeting, Checker called, I think there was about uh, eight of us that he called together. And uh, we had a special meeting on the Thursday night before the team was selected and at the Port Phillip Hotel. Beams was the best rover on the ground. Melbourne by 39 points. The most unselfish player that uh, that I've ever had anything to do with. Uh, he'd make opportunities for everyone in the team and uh, at the detriment to himself. Uh, he was a finished player. He wasn't uh, showy by any means, but he was tremendously effective. Uh, Checker, I would think, without uh, having any facts to back it up, uh, was uh, uh, he had the hotel there at Richmond, the Cricketers Arms, and I think the staff problem was the factor that, uh, uh, that decided he'd uh, have to give way to uh, looking after his interests rather than the football club. As the country struggled in those war years, Beams was called before football club chairman Joe Blair and was appointed captain coach. I never applied for coach, for the coaching job. Uh, it was just told to me by uh, Joe Blair. He called me in the office one day and, uh, and said, uh, you're coaching Melbourne next, uh, uh, this year. And uh, he said, we'll pay you four, four pounds, which is equal to $8 uh, uh, coaching fee. Training, we would, uh, uh, we trained at the Albert ground uh, because uh, we had no ground of our own that had been taken over by Richmond. Uh, we, we had to go taken over by the uh, army and uh, the American uh, force. So uh, we had to share with Richmond and we were uh, <coughs> poor relations as far as Richmond were concerned at that stage. And uh, it was a problem of getting uh, players to the ground in time to train. And uh, a big crowd would be, say, about eight or ten. That's all we'd have on uh, for training nights. I thought Mueller could have been a better player than what he was. Uh, I, I didn't think that Jack really sacrificed himself enough for the team. But as a brilliant individual, he was certainly uh, outstanding. The club mourned the loss of triple premiership star and one-time games record holder Percy Beams, who died at the age of 92 in March 2004.